Is he really dead? Alistair, is he, is he really and truly dead? Yes. Are you sure? Did you put a stake through his heart? Esme, this is no time for jokes. I'm not joking. And, and, and did my strong and brave, very, very rich Julian really kill him? <clears throat> yes. Oh, bravo! Esme, Alistair was Julian's father. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Jules. Sorry for your pain, that is. Not because Alistair's dead. <laughs> Well, I had to do it. I had to stop the evil. Oh, well, you deserve a reward. For what? He's going to jail. Um, do you think Sam would give us a moment alone before you go? Because you've already got the handcuffs on. You know what to turn on, I think that is. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> oh, uh, that's right. I forgot about Julian's upside down and backwards winky dink. I'm sorry, Jules. I know you're not supposed to get excited. Yes, ma'am. I honestly don't think anything uh, could put me in the mood now. Watching one's father die by one's own hand is really a depressing thing. Oh, really? In your case? Because <laughs> I just popped the champagne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It had to be done. I couldn't let Alistair hurt anyone else. And I'm willing to pay the price for it. <clears throat> What? You sure? All right. I know what to do on this end. Excuse me. What the hell are you doing? Just been told that you couldn't have possibly killed Alistair. I did. I, I shot him. He was my, my eyewitness. No, Julian. You're innocent. Okay, Sam, I'm sorry. I'm really confused. You mean Julian's shot didn't even hurt Alistair? Okay, I just said the gun was filled with blanks. Eve, did uh, TC ever use that gun as a starter's pistol? I think so. There you go. I, I, I pulled the trigger. And there was just one shot. And we both saw the gunshot wound the, in his chest. I mean, are you saying that someone else shot Father at the exact same moment that I did? It looks that way. But who? This is where it ends. This is where you die. Who do we have to thank? <laughs> Sam? That would be me. Okay, so someone else was stalking Alistair. Lord knows we've all wanted to take a shot at him one time or another. But to be calculating and that cold to wait for the exact moment when someone else took a shot. To frame me? This town is like the Wild West. Every time I turn around, there's a dead body lying at my feet. Well, they all could be connected. Including Alistair's murder. Uh, to me? To uh, to all of my lovely dead men? Uh, it's a possibility. God, I'm at the center of a spider web of evil. Oh, don't worry, Vicky. I will protect you. I'm glad. It's you and me, together forever. I don't know what I would do if somebody hurt my little angel. Sam, if I am the focal point of all of these murders, I need a way to protect Vicky. Um, can you put your guards on her 24-7? That's a little extreme, don't you think? Not when my niece is concerned, and no, I don't think. <clears throat> we don't have the manpower. Oh, okay. I want to hear you say that when we find Vicky's cold, dead body. Sorry, honey. <laughs> okay, Esme, you know, you're getting a little carried away, don't you think? Whoever's carrying out these murders isn't interested in some little girl. And if you want to protect Vicky, well, then get her out of harmony and, I don't know, send her off to boarding school. You know, I, I, I have nothing against the girl. I mean, she's, I, I just want to do what's, what's best for her. You have to admit she's had some problems. I mean, boarding schools help children learn to depend upon themselves. Ah! Ah! Oh, Die. Oh, oh, oh. Die. Keep your mouth shut, lady. I still have my knife. 
And there are so many good boarding schools for girls in New England. That's debatable. <laughs> I never had much luck at any of them. Ooh, especially Silver Hill. There were some really strange girls there, and I bet you that some of them weren't even girls. <laughs> As me, honey, that's a rehab hospital. Let's just ignore your patchy educational past, shall we? If you really want to protect Vicky, then she needs to leave Harmony. And a boarding school? Well, the good ones, they cater to the rich and famous. They have state-of-the-art security to prevent kidnapping. Really, sending her to a boarding school is an excellent idea. Maybe you're right. Send you to hell, Ivy. I'm the chief of police, and I feel so helpless. Victim after victim after victim. I mean, I, I just wish I could crack this case somehow. I know, honey. It really is terrifying. I wonder who's going to be murdered next. <laughs>